Hello and welcome to Real World News. My name is Dr. Richards. And I'm Dr. Williams. Thank you for tuning in for the broadcast of October 29th, 2020. Today, we will be talking about Borat's brand new lawsuit, Dr. Fauci and his favorite sex positions, and plenty of other spooky Halloween articles. Today is our Halloween special, and we have some spooky stories for you today. Reelable World News Halloween Spooktacular. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date on the most reelable news on the internet. Our first article this week is about Borat. Borat again? Why are we talking about Borat in 2020? I haven't heard that name since 2007. Borat is back. Borat 2, the long-awaited sequel, was just released on Amazon Prime Video. And just like the first one, there are plenty of new lawsuits. Wow, new lawsuits? This guy gets sued more than McDonald's. If you thought that McDonald's hot coffee lawsuit was bad, wait till you hear this one. For his new movie, Borat hijacked a school bus full of children and sped down the freeway. This sounds hilarious. Where does the lawsuit come into play? There are actually multiple lawsuits at every step of this funny bit. When Borat first got to the school bus, he physically attacked and removed the driver. That was lawsuit number one. And then the school bus speed Speeding down the freeway at 90 miles an hour led to many more legal problems. Finally, when the school bus tipped on its side and injured many children, believe it or not, there were some unhappy parents after that one. So I don't understand. This sounds hilarious. Where do these lawsuits come from? I guess the world has lost its sense of humor. Wow, now that was a spooky Halloween story. Moving on, Dr. Williams, recently I saw you looking at some website called Dr. Fauci's Best Sex Positions. Is this some new leaked government documents? Can you explain this? Little do people know that sex is actually an incredibly healthy healthy thing, but only if you follow Dr. Fauci's top five sexual positions. Dr. Fauci has been giving plenty of great information on coronavirus. Are these sex positions relevant to coronavirus? Are they made to stop this illness from taking over? Let's just say not a single person who did the leapfrog position ever got coronavirus. Do you think merely following his advice will save you, or do you actually have to have sex with him? Not having sex with him, just listening Listening to his advice and following his lead. He describes the leapfrog position, which sounds exactly what you think it is. He talks about the Red Rover, which sounds exactly like what you think it would be. He talks about other ones, and all of them show great success with COVID treatment. Do you think it would help if this woman I'm making love to, if I envision Dr. Fauci's face on this woman, will that help me if I catch the virus? Oh. Definitely. I mean, most people already think about him in bed, so that one's just a given. I don't know if I fully believe this science, but I will absolutely give it a shot. Thank you, Dr. Williams. Of course, and don't forget to try the Red Rover, one of my personal favorites. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Dr. Fauci on over. What an absolutely terrifying article in this Halloween spooktacular. Moving on, we're discussing a gigantic controversy involving Nintendo and Minecraft. This one is the spookiest story to date. You would think in a video game titled Super Smash Brothers, Nintendo would avoid any other sexual innuendos, but Minecraft Steve, the game's newest addition, clearly shakes his meat whenever he wins. We're talking like uncensored, full-blown groping, correct? He's literally holding his member? Yes, it is the most vicious, violent self-groping I've ever seen. Wow, and uh, I know the character is pixelated. Is it possible that that wasn't his member. I have studied it very closely and I don't think he could be holding anything else. Well, what else could he be holding? Have you ever seen a street fight end with someone reaching in their pants and pulling out a chicken leg? No, but I have seen several where at the end of a fight someone whips out their member. It looks like after people caught wind of this disgusting practice, Nintendo quickly patched it. They removed it from the game, which I think is very disappointing and unrealistic because after every fight I've won, I have always immediately whipped it out. The worst part is we knew he had a member and now he doesn't. So did Nintendo circumcise him, a grown man, without his consent? 
consent. Oh my God, that is the most violent circumcision ever. They removed his entire penis. Dr. Richards, this isn't the spooktacular special for no reason. We're talking about some scary stuff here today. What a nightmare. Let's move on. For this next article, we will be talking about costumes just in time for Halloween. But these aren't costumes you and I would wear. Why wouldn't I wear these costumes? It's Halloween. It's a free game. These costumes are full body theme park character costumes. You're right. I don't work at Disneyland. I have no reason to wear a big mouse costume or a big dog costume. So Dr. Williams, tell us a little more about these Disneyland costumes. Why are, you, why are we bringing them up right now? Disneyland was supposed to remain closed, but they are now able to reopen if all their costume characters wear masks over their masks. That seems very silly. Two masks? Ha <laughs> ha. That's laughable, Dr. Williams. People are struggling just to wear one. How do they expect people to wear their big character mask and a second mask on top? That's hilarious. Well, the worst part is it might even be three masks. I bet the person underneath the character mask is wearing a mask. Wait, what do you mean? Are you telling me there's someone in those costumes? My God, this is not the way I want you to find out. I had to go to therapy for two years after I found out it wasn't Pluto that touched me. Every time I've seen Mickey or Goofy at the park, I always got so excited thinking it was really Mickey or Goofy. The only character that is real is they say it's really Tom Hanks in the Woody costume. What do you mean Woody costume? Are you telling me that's not actually Woody? Woody is like eight inches tall in that movie. How would that be Woody? What do you mean, movie? I thought that was some kid's home video. Anyways, do you think wearing two to three masks is redundant? Let us know in the comments. You know what's even scarier than Halloween? Voting by mail. It is so ambiguous and terrifying these days where you don't even know if your vote will matter. Yeah, I've been very skeptical with all the strangenesses going on with burning ballots, defunding USPS. To me, it seems like democracy is dead. Well, you would be wrong. Democracy has never been more alive, all thanks to Amazon Prime. What does Amazon Prime have to do with voting in the election? I love Amazon Prime and I love their free two day shipping and I love Amazon Prime video and I love their cheap prices and convenience and I love the many factory jobs and many delivery jobs that they're providing with the American public. But what does Amazon have to do with democracy in the election? You've heard of two day delivery, but get ready for two second votes. Voting. You can now vote directly through Amazon Prime, and it is immediate. This feels like old news. Didn't America's Got Talent do this back in 2006? Yes, they did, but it has finally been picked up by the United States government. Voting has never been this dangerously fast before. You see one tweet from Kanye West that you like, you can just immediately click Kanye on Amazon Prime and you just voted for him. I did like <laughs> his last album. Maybe I will vote for Kanye. It is just too easy to vote with Amazon Prime voting that I think I'm going to vote all day. Vote all day? Does Amazon Prime let you vote multiple times? I thought you were supposed to only vote once. You are, but I have a joint account. I have access to eight people's Amazon accounts, and I plan to vote for all eight of them. It's not fraud if you pay for the subscription. They truly are saving the election. Thank you, Jeff Bezos. I love Amazon Prime, and I love all the services you give us. I am forever indebted to Amazon. Amazon, be sure to let us know if you need a new Prime Original series because we are incredibly available. But you better act quick. I just got off the phone with Netflix and Hulu and they have some very intriguing offers. Oh, my Apple Watch just went off and Disney Plus is reaching out as well. Oh wait, this notification is about a lawsuit threat over that last Disney article we mentioned. What a truly terrifying, spooky article, Dr. Williams. Thank you for this Halloween spooktacular. It got me in the mood for haunted houses and trick-or-treating. I'm really glad we did a Halloween special, because that was terrifying. Let's move on to the weather. For this world's weather, the moon is orange, the sky is ashy, the winds are harsh. I am certain that the four horsemen of the apocalypse are nigh. That would be the perfect challenge cherry on top for 2020. And for Halloween. At least if the Headless Horseman shows up, he wouldn't have to worry about wearing a mask. Wow, that is correct. 
Dr. Richards, the only weather I care about is whether or not you will bless us with some astromy today. Of course I will. I went and got some Chinese food from Magic Walk yesterday, and I popped open my fortune cookie, and the Chinese proverb it gave me stated, Do not climb on ladders too high. The four horsemen of the apocalypse are nigh. Wow, Dr. Richards. The four horsemen of the apocalypse again? This cannot be a coincidence. The four horsemen of the apocalypse are nigh. That could only mean one thing. Wow. Well, that's enough time for this week. We hope you enjoyed our spooktacular Halloween special. Please subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the most realable news on the internet. And give this video an upvote if you miss Steve's meat. And give this video a downvote if you don't like Steve's meat. Dr. Richards. Dr. Williams. Signing, signing off. off.